What's going on, YouTube? My name is Aluminum, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher 1. And today I bring you guys a mod called the Slime Collection 1 mod. And what it does is it adds three new unique slimes into Slime Rancher. Uh, if you can already tell by my hotbar, I already have two of the slimes. I'm missing one of them though, so we'll go get it later. But I want to show you guys this mod because I think it's pretty cool. And um, I have plenty of space on my ranch to showcase some of these slimes. Uh, so first of all, we have the ruined slime. So I'll let me just put him in here. He is a, um, a slime that you can find in the ruins biome. And he won't produce any plorts, uh, but if you feed him... If he's in a corral and you keep him well fed, uh, first of all, he won't produce this dust cloud, which actually damages you if you see down there at my health bar. He will actually produce like minerals that you normally get from uh, ex an extractor, so I'm just going to demonstrate it by feeding him some heartbeats. He didn't know. Oh, you see? He did it. Right here. But next up, we have the unstable slime. And basically the way to get an unstable slime is you need to feed a quantum slime, which is also found in the ruins biome, uh, unstable shard, which, um, oh my god, he's producing more stuff. But unstable shards are found in, like, the mineral resource extractors, so just get a drill and place it, like, what I did is I placed it right outside my lab. And, um, you can just kind of, yeah. Oh my god, he drops them, never mind. I forgot to tell you the ruined slime actually drops the unstable shards too. Like, they can drop it. Uh, so, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that makes me, that makes me super happy because if we went to the novice drill, we probably wouldn't have gotten one, so. Alright, but anyways, if we come over here, we can put in a quantum slime, and then feed it an unstable shard, and as you can see, it turns into an unstable slime. And now what you can do with the unstable slimes is you can actually feed them, because they drop ports. Uh, so we're just gonna give them phase lemons, I guess. Alright, so the last slime we're gonna be looking at is the ruby slime, and basically the ruby slime needs a boom slime, and a crystal slime. Why are there so many treasure pods that I haven't opened yet? Alright, this is a really, like, debatable question, but what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the treasure pod system from Slime Rancher 1 or the treasure pod system from Slime Rancher 2? I personally like the Slime Rancher 1 one because, uh, you need to actually upgrade your treasure cracker to open more, like, advanced treasure pods which I kind of like the the idea and the concept of it. But in Slime Rancher 2, you can just find them around the map and then open them. And it's just super boring because then you don't need to grind. And that gives you less play time. And you can do a lot in this game. Just uh, like flinging slimes around and uh, committing mass genocide. So your goal is to feed a crystal port to a boom slime or a boom port to a crystal slime so it turns into a crystal largo and then you feed it yep there you go you feed it jellystone don't get too close to this ruby slime okay because they can easily turn back into boom slime so just don't get near them at all okay they eat veggies so oh my god that thing is dropping a lot they eat veggies so we can go here feed them a little Whatever you do, just don't get close to it, or else it will turn back into a boom slime. Just, I'd highly suggest trying to ranch some of these, these ruby slimes. Just don't ever go into their corral. Stay f pretty far away from them. And then, if you want to make getting their plorts easier, just buy one of these plort collectors and you should be all set. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I have to say about this mod. I think it's really cool, and if you guys want me to do more mod tutorials, just leave a like and comment down below, because I like looking at your guys' comments, seeing feedback and stuff, so I have plans for the next videos. Sorry that I haven't uploaded, I've been really busy IRL right now, but yeah, that was the mod, and I'll see you guys in the next video, 
it might be another slime rancher video it could be a different game i'm not sure i have so many games i haven't showed you guys yet and it's really hard picking which one i want to show you guys uh so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you later